such a mighty pouring out of that joy that every sense of depression or blues of lack of energy has to go when this joy comes in that's all we feel all we have is shouting and dancing and feeling wonderful and nothing else can enter in on that space no it's so marvelous and it's been going like that all morning and the wonderful sunshine and all the nice little animals are enjoying it all. They feel this joy flowing in them and nice breeze is blowing just right. It seems like it's blowing in more joy all the time. Whoa! Everything seems like it is saying joy. All the trees and the flowers are saying joy is coming mightily and it is coming upon all of us. It is marching across this nation and world and we have the power to blow it out. More and more and more as we get under this mighty spout where all that glory comes out, we'll be able to give joy to the world to people around the world we'll be able to give joy oh we'll be able to raise them up out of all disease and all of their uh, things that are holding them down in oppression depression or sense of obsession of things uh, of this uh, world that seems to burden them down all of that will be lifted their burdens will be gone all oh, their worries and anxieties will be cast out by this joy oh wow it's such a marvelous day when we realize how powerful this joy is whoa oh i feel that joy i mean it just surges and surges and surges whoa it's like a mighty tide coming in oh it's like a mighty surf just lifting us up oh until we feel no sense of gravity or no sense of anything holding us back from our flight we just take off like the eagle and fly whoa it's so marvelous so marvelous to feel this mighty joy oh 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 we need to spend time beholding how powerful it is behold what manner of love the father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of god we're the sons and daughters of god and then he said he these things have i spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and your joy would be full we need to realize that it said it would be full it didn't say it would be a little joy it didn't say it would be a tingle of joy a little happiness a little cheer he said your joy would be full it would be a lifting joy a powerful joy a joy that would cast out every lack of joy a, a joy that would cast out everything unlike itself it would be powerful enough to cast out disease it'd be powerful Powerful enough to cast out all the chains of addiction. It would be powerful enough to
to break all the bad habits that are keeping us from fulfilling our lives and doing the greatest things, greatest works that we otherwise could do. And it is such a great joy that it gives us a creative power to do all the wonderful things that we need to do in our writings and in our music and in our composing. And all those things will flow like water when this joy really comes in and begins to touch us in a mighty way because we'll realize what the source of it is and where it is coming from and how mighty that source is. Oh, how omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient that source really is. And it will begin to lift us up in such a mighty way. Whoa! That that's what we'll feel. We'll feel a mighty joy, a mighty, mighty, multifaceted, manifold, magnificent joy. Oh, it'll take us to the mountaintop. It'll take us to the sky. It'll lift us above. We won't feel anything holding back. Anything will be a change trying to hold us back will be broken. And oh, we'll march forth with that truth in a mighty way. That truth that marches before us and marches with us will be so much more powerful when this joy goes with it and when this power that produces that joy is pushing that truth and all oh, and taking that truth into all the world. The truth will not be able to be held back. And the truth then will People will know the truth and the truth will set them totally free from all of those things which have caused them not to be able to accomplish to their fullest potential. And so it is a mighty, mighty thing. Oh, that mighty anointing. Oh, it can flow upon us if we get under that. We just have to ask for it. We just have to be ready for it. Whatever you're ready for, it's ready for you. You just have to be ready. You have to be ready enough to get under that spout and ask for that glory to come out. Whoa! Every time I think about it, getting under it. Oh, I was over there a while ago getting under it. Oh, I was in my prayer room earlier getting under it. Getting under that glory. Asking for that glory. Asking for that anointing. Whoa! I said, oh, I said, oh, I said, a mighty divine source, mighty God. Oh, yes, divine, mind, divine. Spirit, oh, creator of this universe, pour out that mighty anointing upon me now, pour out all that mighty joy, pour out that glory, he said, I, I told him, I want all of that glory, I want a double portion of that anointing, I want to have the power to send forth truth, I want to have the power to make it do its work, I want to have a power that it'll go forth and not return void, I send out the word of healing power. I want it not to be terrible. I want the healing work to be done. The healing work. People will be raised up on out of every sickness and illness. And people will stand on such high ground that they'll see all these magnificent things for themselves and it will not return void because the truth will do that. The truth will accomplish that for people. The truth will raise them up. Oh! The truth has such power. It's like a a mighty two-edged sword going forth in the body between the soul and the moral and the soul and the spirit and soul and the body. Oh, it is divided out all lack of joy. Oh, it can divide out all anxiety. It can divide out all depression, all addiction, and it can leave nothing but that whole wonderful, mighty, powerful spirit of joy will be all that is left. That mighty spirit of anointing will be left, and it will be mighty. It'll be like a mighty rushing wind, like a mighty rushing tide. It'll be pouring across us. It'll be giving us power. It'll be healing our body. It'll be healing those around. It'll be sending out healing power. Oh, it'll be sending out the words of God. It'll be sending out the words of joy and peace and love. Oh, it can be hold that love. That the Father has bestowed upon us, behold, means let yourself get ready for something awesome and magnificent and manifold, but they pass it glorious and all and everything that you could think of like that. Get yourself ready for something awesome. 
when you be, and then you're gonna, well, I'm gonna finish it by saying, the love of God, which call, uh, behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. And you behold that with awesomeness. You behold that in a way that you're looking for how for something very magnificent and marvelous. And when you do that, it is going to change you. It is going to lift you up. It is going to give you joy. It is going to give you power. It is going to put a dynamo within you. It is going to give you energy. You're going to begin to see uh, how vast the love of God is, how powerful the love of God is. And so we just continue to be whole and we continue to be whole and we continue to ask for more love and ask for more joy and ask for more peace. And we ask and ask and ask and ask for more. And we get asked for a double portion of that anointing of that spirit of, of love that he's talking about there. And I ask for a double portion of the Holy Spirit of joy. Whoa! And then it begins to pour and pour and pour more and more into us. And then we feel like we can just jump and dance and run and shout. And all of that power just keeps flowing and we keep beholding it and you should behold that power that flows like that behold the manner of it behold where it comes from behold as in looking for something awesome behold as in looking for something magnificent behold and looking for something that is more glorious than anything you've ever seen or heard of in your life behold that manner of that love and behold it with mighty uh, 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 mighty spirit of being willing to receive everything that is there for you. We want to be able to receive everything that is for, there for us. Whatever we're ready for is ready for us. And we can get ready for it by getting ourselves in that uh, that. Uh, that uh, manner of thinking, that mode of thought, that med med meditative spirit, that reflective spirit, that spirit of looking up and ask and looking for something wonderful and something mighty and something awesome. And we will see when we do that, it will begin to pour out on us in a mighty way. And then it will cast out everything that's opposite to it. When that joy begins to flow, it'll cast out everything. It'll put us in this one single moment, this one divine moment, where we will be as if we were divine in that moment, and we will be as if we had mighty power, almighty power in that one moment, because all of that mighty power will be flowing through us, and we'll be feeling that spirit of joy, and we will be feeling that spirit of healing, and all anxiety flies away, and all the regret of the past flies away. All addiction to any drug flies away. All of anything chained us down. Any sense of depression, oppression, or obsession. Well, all get away, get up and go. And it'll all be cast out. And it'll all be washed out. And nothing will be left but the divine joy of God. And so we need to realize how powerful this is. And so that we can look at it with all. And as we look at it with all and say, I'm ready for it, then whatever we're ready for is ready for us. We'll be truly ready for it, and then it can truly flow. And so we want to understand as I uh, begin that this joy, uh, this uh, mighty power that's behind this joy causes it to cast out and repel everything uh, everything that is opposite to it. It has the power to repel all of its opposites and give us and leave us with only marvelous joy. And so I'm going to pray right now. And everyone listening to this video will be able to receive this mighty joy and this mighty power and everyone will be healed. I just pray right now that every form of cancer will be healed. Every form of diabetes will be healed. Every form of nervousness or blood disorder or any kind of lung problem or, or, or any kind of liver problem or any COPD or any kind of paralysis or any kind of stroke or any kind of circulation problem. It'll all be healed. All got Parkinson's disease. All of it will be healed by the power of 
God now. You'll heal anybody that has any COVID-19. You'll heal them and raise them up right now in the name of the Holy Son, Jesus. Uh, heal everyone. Raise them up out of their sense of depression, oppression, or obsession with anything. Oh, dear God, that you would break all addictions now. You break addictions, oh God, to cocaine, to heroin. You'll break all addictions uh, to crack. You'll break all addictions to fentanyl. You'll break all addictions to any any form uh, oh, 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 of opioids. Uh, and oh, dear God, just give people power and give them joy like they've never had before in their life and raise them up to a mighty place where they can see marvelous things. They can see manifold things. They can see awesome things. And they can see all this wonder and this power and this might. In the name of our Holy Son, Jesus, amen, amen, and amen.